my name is Lisa Grace and this is Nailcomer's YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so I have got the metallic netting box and these are absolutely, I always go to open it from that side. I always get this wrong. Oh, look at those. We are going to be using the purple one today. So this is, it's purple netting, but it's got the um, metallic foil attached to it. It's just so beautiful. So we're gonna be encapsulating some of this today. So I'm just gonna get my scissors and just cut a small section off. I say small, that's how big it is in the palm of my hand. I always like to make sure that I've got plenty so that it can actually go on the nail and I've also got enough to hold on to as well. I can never get this back in the box. It never, never goes in the way it came out. It shut the lid quick enough. Nobody knows. So you can see the purple here. Yeah, you can see a bit better there. See the purple running through that. And I guess, I guess you could probably get away with using it either side, couldn't you? Either with the gold foil on top of the netting or with silver foil being exposed. Oh, I don't know where I was going to use the gold, but I don't know which which way I like it actually. I prefer the gold. You're very you're a very gold person, mm. aren't you? Whereas I'm more of a silver person. But yeah, I like that. Let's go with gold. Okie dokes. So we are going to be applying the netting over most of the nail, but I do want a nice neutral background so i'm using peach of course because as you know it's my favorite um so i'm going to be doing a full peach base uh, but because we are popping the foil on top it is going to need to be encapsulated and capped in clear so make sure your base is nice and thin So this is just going to be a bit of background colour. You're going to see the nail bed more. So pop that in at the cuticle. Oh, I've already popped my um, prep and primer on, by the way. I don't know if I did that on video. Did I do that on video? No, so? you didn't. But try and get your two beads on as quick as you can so that it's all kind of setting at the same speed because we're going to need to press this netting into it so that it holds. So no point pressing your netting into it now, it's too wet. We need to leave it a couple of, well, maybe not a couple of minutes, but maybe 10, 15 seconds. So I want this around about here. Can you see how it's starting to go matte now? That means I can kind of line it up now, figure out where I want it, press that into place, but then I'm going to need to wrap this around, especially around the edges, and I'm going to need to hold it in place on the edges. And hopefully, netting can be very, very tricky to work with because it doesn't like when you've bent it, it doesn't like to stay in place. But I'll show you what to do with any bits that don't stay in place. But by holding the edges and then using your brush to hold big bits down, it does help. So just watch when you let go. If it bounces back, then it's not held in. Oh, I really like this, Sam. That's going to look beautiful. Okay, so I'm just going to trim away any major excess. Try not to completely knock the foil off, but definitely get rid of any, any excess. Right, so any sections like this bottom section here that isn't sticking down, do not fret. That's where we come in with our clear acrylic. Move that out of the way. So, clear acrylic. I'm just going to get a small bead. 
and I'm going to pop it there and kind of work it around that netting locate any of the any other areas that need the same sort of treatment like these bits up here I'm going to lift it a bit round here as well so I'm going to get a little bit more pop that under there like that and then as that acrylic starts setting we can press it again into there some people like to use like a bit of see-through plastic or something that they can actually wrap around the nail and hold the entire thing nice and tight but there we go so that clear acrylic is now setting so that now allows me and that really holds that down now so you can press that into that clear acrylic and just be a little bit more precise There we go. And we'll hold that for a couple of seconds. And don't worry too much about the excess that's coming off the ends. We can trim that down again in a minute, or you can just go ahead and encapsulate it and then it will file off. Don't stress yourself out too much. This netting is beautiful really beautiful right so I can come in now and really trim away as you trim you probably will end up picking the netting up and out a little bit but don't panic because we've still got to actually encapsulate this any little fluffy bits I keep moving off the camera any little fluffy bits like this don't worry about but your big bits of foil Make sure you trim them there we go. right so that to me is looking good so don't worry about any little bits because they will file off okay right so now we need to encapsulate so in with our clear acrylic And just make sure that when you're capping this, you're really getting to those edges and really sealing that netting in. If you have got any bits of your netting like you can see here that's really trying to poke through and stick out don't worry make sure you've got acrylic completely wrapped around it it's all good okay next bead come up a little higher Same again, make sure you're taking that acrylic all the way to the edge, really encapsulating that netting. And then your cuticle bead. I think our tummies are having sing-alongs. I keep yours. keep hearing your go, yours going, and then mine, mine goes. Just and... Mine ain't gone for a while. Yeah. He's thinking about his pasta later on. Mine so does it now. Pasta. So as I was saying, your netting does like to stick up and poke through. You see a little bits here. But don't worry because it will file away and that's going to look beautiful. So I'm going to let this set for a few minutes and then give it a good file. Okay, so we're all filed up, filed away any of the excess netting that was poking through. I've given it a quick buff and we are ready for the no wipe top coat. 
Now in at your cuticle, give your brush a little wiggle. You have to dance it towards the cuticle. A little booty shake. Oh my god, look at that, Sam. I'm loving that. Beautiful. And then that can go into the lamp for a full cure. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Don't forget to give us a little thumbs up, hit like on that video, drop any comments that you've got down in the comment section below. And more importantly, make sure you hit subscribe so that you get a notification for all of our future videos. All of the products that I've used today, you can find on our website, which is nelkme.co.uk. And I will see you in the next video.